on this episode of Dirt Road Traveler. Join us as we go up into the high Atlas Mountains. <laughs> So we've just stopped for our washroom break and Yassine has pointed out this market behind us. We're in the town of Tizzy. So yes, officially I'm in a Tizzy. And now we're gonna head over and visit an actual legitimate Sunday Sook. We're in the Sunday market for this local community just outside of the Rosewater capital. And it seems to be a combination of rummage sale and young guys who want to say hello to the video and all sorts of coolness. And look at the fresh olives. You can see as we look over, we've got the butcher, all the fresh, fresh chickens, dates. Yeah, let's go listen to the chickens saying their farewells and their goodbyes. More dates, baskets, there's so many things available in this market. Admittedly, this is a market like nothing I've ever seen before. It's fresh, it's local, and we are absolutely the only non-people from the community here. You know, we've been to so many places around the world and I've never been as happy to be in a place that is legitimately the people of the community we're visiting. It's amazing. It's time for a coffee and a mint tea. After walking through that market, um, I, I hope it didn't sound too dramatic about how um, moving, how authentic that really was, but I've never in my life experienced a market like that. And it's also very nice to experience a market like that that's not for tourists. Like, we were a tourist attraction for the locals while we were in there. It reminded me of when we were in Yipa Yapa in Ecuador about seven or eight years ago. It was a different experience for me. So we're really loving uh, this road trip into the Atlas Mountains. Uh, in the bus, we're seeing now the White Cap Mountains again. And uh, just so many incredible sights. Uh, we're going to share as much as we can. It's difficult sometimes because we are in a bus that's moving, uh, but we'll give you as much as we possibly can on the rest of this video. So this is a sign for the National Police, but I wanted to key in on the Asmerian uh, writing. And uh, we're looking to get a little bit of a, more of an explanation about the writing of this local indigenous language but we're here and thought this would be a good opportunity for you to see it so we've made a quick stop at habu which is a local spot in orzazat uh, orzazat is a neat town it's uh, fairly large um, but it is best known as being right outside of Ben Hado, where there have been a number of Hollywood movies filmed. And uh, one in particular, Gladiator, was shot here. But another fun fact about the area, uh, Orzazat's airport code is OZZ. So we're in OZZ today. We're just making friends all over Morocco here. You are welcome, your friend, your cousin. 
So this is the Hebu lunch. We have a Moroccan soup with dates and boiled egg. We have a chicken shawarma, some quality fries. We have water and apparently we have some green stuff coming. So looking forward to it. So let's go have a look. So we just walked into the spice trader shop and honestly I wish YouTube had smell of vision. This is Ismail just, from the spices and herbs. This is Ismail. Ismail. Hello everybody. Yes. Hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Maybe they have a website. This place is spicy. Yes. So this is the Moroccan film area. Many movies have been shot here and uh, we can tell seeing the Ramsey statues on the outside, but we're not uh, able to actually go in today to have a look at it, but there's so many Hollywood movies that use this set for shooting thought it would be worth adding. So we're just on the outside of the Atlas Mountains now. There's always an opportunity for someone to sell their wares. like Indiana Jones when it comes to snakes. I hate snakes. I absolutely hate them. Okay, Lizzie, who we've met before in the videos, is wearing the snake. So we're in the area of Ayat Ben Hudu, and this is where we're staying tonight at the lower part of the Atlas Mountains. So, Hotel La Rose de Sable, and let's have a quick look. Beautiful reception area with a textured relief map of the actual Ben Hudu Casbah. And we get out in the courtyard, a swimming pool that we won't be using, a couple restaurants, but I think we've got a real treat for you upstairs. So let's go find room 23. Our next door neighbors are kind of okay, but a little annoying sometimes. <laughs> and uh, beautiful mural, hand painted on the walls on both sides. It's actually quite nice. There's another one of our great G friends from the greater Toronto area. And let's go check out room number 23. There's the other half of Team Dirt Road Traveler. So we have our prep area, which I know Cindy loves, a large counter prep area. We have the shower pan, shower room, and a nice functional toilet. But more surprises. They keep giving us these wonderful surprises. We've got... Uh, double-ish bed with a spare bed. We keep getting the spare bed. We've got a closet that we won't use, but oh my. Once again, we're given a wonderful balcony. Here the view isn't spectacular, but tonight we will be able to see the top 
of Ayat Ben Haldu. Yeah, you know, there are worse ways to travel around Morocco than a wonderful trip with G Adventures. And they just keep giving us these wonderful gifts. Stork alert. This one looks as though it's just completed a delivery, but we can't know for sure. And this is the Casbah Ayat Ben Hado. And it was built about a thousand years ago. It was actually a toll area for the king that ruled the area. Anyways, we're going to show you inside next. We have, we have donkeys are we coming. Donkeys coming. Donkey alert. Camel's coming. Camel alert. I love his hood ornament. Camels and donkeys. Camels and donkeys. So this is our first real view of the Casbah. And I hope the video is showing how spectacular this is. We can't wait to get up and inside and up to the top. Yassin was just telling us that it was actually him who over a thousand years ago built this, yes. knowing that in the year 2022 on Christmas day, we would be here with him. That's what I call forethought and consideration. There are some amazing sight lines in here. Check that out. Again, the higher we get, the better the views get. We've made it to the top. Lizzie, how many steps did we climb? 199. 199. Two not bumps. 200. Two not 200. Not 198. <laughs> We've made it to the top. Thank you. And look at the gift. So, in front of us now, the Sahara. Over there, Todra Gorge. And over here, is the rest of the Atlas Mountains where we'll be heading tomorrow. And look who it is. It's Mrs. Dirt Road Traveler. And this is a heck of a wonderful place to be on Christmas Day. We were just commenting that, you know, such a beautiful UNESCO World Heritage Site and there's zero protection there's zero security and we just have free walk free run of the place but it is absolutely unquestionably one of the most beautiful places i've ever visited and we've had the good fortune of seeing a lot of really cool places, but this is unbelievable. So this is heated saffron. Yeah. And we're taking a quick look at what it looks like now. And the artist is heating it. And slowly oh, the color, oh my goodness. This is beautiful. We can see the camels, the water, the actual structure of the building. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's like magic. <laughs> it's magic. And this is one heck of a magician. Yeah. Oh. Thank you for sharing yeah. this. How much? Touch it. It's fixed. Is now. It that's, it's a hawk. Oh my goodness. Seeing that saffron turn into Casey's new favorite picture blew my mind. Hey, one other thing that I didn't mention. Gladiator was shot here. Not only Gladiator, Lawrence of Arabia, dozens of other movies. 
and I will put a list of the movies actually in the description below. This place is just gorgeous. Another great angle of the Casbah. Spectacular. All in all, just another brick from the wall. And this is the gate from the movie Gladiator. You just imagine Russell Crowe doing his Gladiator stuff. Filmed right here in Haya Ben Hadou. <laughs> so this is the handwork that goes into making these beautiful local carpets. What a craft. And all the women who make dust is like the lady from the countryside who make this kind of the design. Oh, it's her? Yes. Oh, it's her choice. Yes. Yeah. This is like from different tribe from. Uh, yeah. From Bode in a way. So you can see the beautiful design. It's natural. Even Muhammad asked you to send that. You can touch it. You can see the beautiful design. Yeah, it goes there. Pretty. The blue is the blue. The blue is the indigo color. Rouge, henna. Red is henna. Henna. Jaune, saffron. Yellow is saffron. Uh -huh. Blue and indigo. Uh, the vert mint. Uh, yes, uh, the, the green is mint. Very good. Yes. Blue in wax natural. Yes, the black is the nature from the wall. Parce qu'on appelle ça pé et on dit. It's like another tribe. The name for another. So tribe. now like we're at the. Here's all the beautiful <laughs> options. <laughs> Which ones do you want, stage? And there are so many options, so many options, but I think we're narrowing it down because I think we're getting something here. So night is falling on Ben Hadou. Um, to close the book on the carpets, we have three beautiful carpets that uh, we are going to be bringing back to Canada and we are super excited uh, with them so that's awesome hey tomorrow uh, we're gonna head up to the Atlas Mountains and we're going to be sleeping in a geet so we're looking forward to that if you're enjoying this video and really are interested at all in the Dirt Road Traveler project, please think about giving us a subscribe and liking this video. We really appreciate it. And of course, Google and YouTube realize that the more likes and subscribes that we have, the better we're doing. So thanks very much. I hope you enjoy tomorrow's footage. Well, the sun is starting to rise on another day and we have the stork on top of the minaret as the sun rises here in Ayat bin Hadou and check out that sky. So now we're heading up into the mountains. Tonight we're staying in the Geet looking forward to that experience and we look forward to sharing some more video as we travel through the day there's always video time for puppies playing and then mom and the other puppy <laughs> And that's all. So you can probably hear a lot of wind. We're just over 2,000 meters of elevation here. Quick stop. And the ascent of the valley is like a longer drive. Uh, it is sometimes beautiful up here, but sadly, very noisy. So 
We've now made a quick stop and we're at the home of a family just outside of Marrakesh as we're happening our way to the High Atlas Mountains. It'll be interesting to see how lunch happens here. What a beautiful home. I don't see it all the time. I don't know, I, even I don't know the, the village. And I don't know. Our There's salad to start. Where exactly? Bread. And after that, really, we surprised each other because mm. we have years and don't see it all the time. And they really need for us like oh beef and rice. This is kind of cool. And people like me don't appreciate it because we see, wow, this is good. We missed the uh, Tajim reveal, but look what the Tajim reveal revealed. <laughs> I'm going to revel in this reveal. Such a simple dessert idea. Sliced oranges with cinnamon sprinkled on it. And homemade cookies. Another tea pouring professional. Well, that lunch was amazing. I know we've had chicken tagine a few times, but there's something, a little, yeah, there's something a little different about that one. Um, I know we've been building on the going into the high Atlas Mountains. That's our next stop. Um, we've been passing through some interesting villages and this last one that we just passed through, it was their market day. The market was different than the market in Tizzy. And as you can see, it's a lot more of a rummagey kind of garage sale kind of market. And uh, it was it was kind of weird, but anyways, here we go, and uh, hope you enjoy the next bits of, of sights. So this is the preparation point for our hike up into the mountain. Now I say up into the mountain. We're hiking for about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, the elevation change is going to be around 100 meters or so. But the view from down here of the snow caps sort of defines what snow caps are here. There's just a bit of a dusting of snow up there. So let's see what this little hike has in store for us. Okay, Yasin is leading this big walk. So we've started out at just over 1,700 meters above sea level. And the expectation is that we'll get up there at just over 1,800 meters above sea level. So let's see what the actuals are when we get there. And, the and how long it's gonna yes. take and how many steps it'll be. Yes. And look at these beautiful animals. So this is our view as we're hiking up. It's tough calling it a hike when we're on a paved road with merchants all around us, but this is the trail to get us to where we're going. And our first encounter with a propane truck. So we've got the rooster waking up. Oh, and we've got a little donkey action here. Interesting technique to prevent the donkey from actually going very far as they tie the two left legs together. Huh. And there's the rest of the group. Salam alaikum, alaikum assalam. Here they are. Look at them. What a bunch of hiking troopers. Oh my God, just killing the mountain seems to be rush hour on the mountain. Some folks going down while we're going up. So Mount Tukamal, which is the highest peak in North Africa. Of course, we all know that Kilimanjaro is the highest mountaintop in Africa. So we're heading up. Our elevation change at this point, we've climbed about 150 meters of elevation change 
and we're 1.2 kilometers up the trail. It's a nice walk. The pace has been steady. Some good stops along the way. We just got sesame snacks and we're carrying on. Little Billy goat. And then sort of black and white sheep. Interesting sheep. Nice little mountain goat. And just when I thought I'd miss seeing a waterfall, there it is, a whole series of really nice drops all the way down. Gorgeous. And another view of the snow caps with the call to prayer in the background. غيدا السيدي لا غير المنطقه نارون بلا المنطقه الهيدروليجي ناسيف نمليل فما رغيت ولاد وير ار يو تيم اي ام ان ذا هاي اتلاس ماونتنز ار يو هابي هير ار يو هابي ان موروكو اي ام سو هابي دو يو هاف ا جود تايم ويز اس ثانك يو سو ماتش وي ميد ات وير ات ذا جيت And the view of the mountains, the rooster crowing in the background. It's beautiful. Can't wait to take a tour inside. Well, we finished it. 3.4 kilometers, just over 250 meters of elevation change vertically, and a beautiful walk. Our guide, Yassine, had us talking about all sorts of wonderful things on our tour up, not just about the landscape, but just a lot of really important things that we should all talk about and feel comfortable talking about. So we're here and uh, we'll be here overnight. And our host is setting up a fire behind us. It's gonna be a wonderful evening and we'll share some more with you as the evening goes on. So what do you think of our boys Chambra here right. at the Geet? Men only. So, yeah. so, there are 13 of us, and what Yassine has done is put the four guys and a cat, um, well, Eric's cat, uh, into one room, and I'm supposing that, um, other than phone damage, that we're just going to be here, and they'll go the three girls per room for the other three rooms. So this is going to be cozy. Um, definitely four guys in a room this size is going to be warm. And uh, I brought earplugs because there might be somebody who snores. Oh. <laughs> I might snore. I think oh. I, know, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shite. Anyways, we're going to learn tonight whether Eric or George are snorers. <laughs> Out for now. Okay, dinner in the Jeet. So we have a beautiful, what looks like a Moroccan soup and a beautiful soup urn thingy and more of the world's best bread. And couscous is next on offer. And chicken. Not all that chicken for you, Mom. There are a number of people oh, that don't eat meat in groups, so they separated it and gave it as chicken the as a side. Plan, if there is so, just a quick view of our Geet morning breakfast. Our favorite breads, eggs, yogurt, strawberry jam, apricot jam, honey. Juice, tea, coffee, and cheese. This is how we start our morning after the night that was. So we're walking down and we're sharing the path with a bunch of kids off to school. And uh, we've had a little bit of fun with them. Super happy, these kids. Um, and you know, it wasn't all that long ago that kids in Morocco wouldn't have had this chance to be going off to school in the morning. So it feels good. And then, as we move away, gives us an opportunity to show you the snow on the top of the mountains just ahead of us as we're walking this morning. 
Wow, that was an adventure. Um, 250 meters of elevation change going vertical last night and then coming back down this morning. Uh, it was a good walk, uh, both ways around three kilometers each way so uh, some nice extended uh, walking exercise for us uh, was a nice change really enjoyed our time in the Geet as well um, definitely not luxury accommodations having four of us in the room but it was still really really good saw lots of other people uh, and this morning had some great interaction with some kids going to school uh, so I had a lot of fun with that our next adventure is going to be in Asuera. It's a beach town. We're staying right in uh, the Medina in a Riyadh. So we're looking forward to that experience and we're looking forward to sharing it all with you. So thanks very much for watching this uh, Dirt Road Traveler video. Hope you enjoyed it and look forward to showing you more from our time here in Morocco.